Herring is founder and chairwoman of Impact Group, a career development firm, and her new book, No Fear Allowed, a story of guts, perseverance, and making an impact, shares the lessons that she's learned from building her company. Welcome, Laura. Hi. So you are well known here um, in St. Louis um, for the Impact Group and all the things that you, all the companies you've worked with. Yes. and. You wrote a book, so oh my why gosh. did you decide to take that path? Well, you know, I was a psychologist in private practice, and I kept hearing all these stories about relocating families hating the relocation process. Mm -hmm. And so I said, I know I could help them. I know I could help them. So I went out and started this company to help them. And what's interesting is I decided to write the book because most of the time, entrepreneurs just dive into things like I did, and they don't know what to do next. They don't know what they should be aware of. So I decided to tell my story, and at the end of each chapter, after every failure, I write lessons learned. And I thought I was writing for female entrepreneurs, but it turns out the male entrepreneurs are emailing me, sending me letters. It's amazing. So why did you think that you were writing for women, mostly? Well, because I know a lot of women entrepreneurs, and they would always ask to shadow me or come work with me or something. So I thought, well, there's a need not met also. But then once I started um, having the book out in the market, I cannot tell you how many men have called me, thanked me, and said they're using a lot of the culture ideas that I wrote in there. Mm -hmm. So going back to your career, starting out as a psychologist and then building a business yeah. without a business background per se, but you had an entrepreneurial bent. Yes. So what do you think credited, what, what, do you, what do you credit with your success as a businesswoman coming from such a diverse and different background? Well, I think if you're an entrepreneur, you've got to have passion. And I was passionate about making a difference. And I was passionate about helping relocating families because I, as a kid, had a bad relocation when I was 13. And that had an imprint on me. And I wanted to spare any other kids, families, the pain that we felt as a family when we relocated. So the business that you started, we were specifically working with local corporations, I yes. assume then, and, and their, uh, their relocation. Um. Right. But to be honest, I couldn't get anyone to buy in St. Louis, so I went outside of St. Louis and went to New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, where all the world corporate headquarters. Once we had Pfizer and Citigroup and mm. all the big ones, then I came back to St. Louis and all the St. Louis companies started buying it as well. So you had this great idea, you had the passion. Yes. Was it easy? Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> because you don't know what you don't know. And what I didn't know is that this was going to be a two-step sale. And so I had to learn that. Also, what I didn't know is how to market it for a global company, which we are now. We now have 250 Fortune 500 companies in 33 countries, so mm -hmm. it's great. So when you say a two-step process, you were what, what were the two steps? Selling yourself and selling the business, or? No, S selling the need in corporate America that relocating families really needed help, because typically the executives, they never complain. But the wives are at home complaining to them. So that was the first step, education. The second step was then to sell them the product that I had developed, which was coaching and helping the spouses find jobs. Yeah, very interesting. So what other obstacles, um, as you went through the process of building the business, did you come across? Well, I think one of the obstacles I found is we created an industry. No one had ever created a program like this. So then all of a sudden, as soon as we did, we had copycats. And so competitors started to offer a different product, a cheaper product, and so that was difficult. And then the also naive part of me didn't realize when companies said, oh yeah, we love it. They were just saying that to get me out of the office. And what they really meant was, it's a really nice idea, but we're not interested. So I'd go home and I'd be so excited, you know, and then they wouldn't buy. That was devastating. Interesting. Laura, we're going to take a quick break. Okay. When we come back, we're going to talk more about your personal story and how it also impacted the Impact Group and the book that you wrote. We'll have more with Laura Herring after this. Stay with us. Thank you.